Okay, Google, how do you say well tall, way tall? What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we will be unboxing the Bring Arts Zeno Gears. What, what, wait, wait, tall? What, well, tall? Wait, wait, tall? It's, I know it's German, and I can't, I can never pronounce it since I've been playing this game. So, <laughs> we're just gonna say well, tall, okay? That's, it's well, tall, all right? This is Feifong Wong's gear from Zeno Gears, and this is the first gear that you get in the game, and I'm so psyched that this is finally here, because we get to see how this is. I've been always wanting this toy since I was a, a teenager, and I played Zeno Gears on the PlayStation, so I'm so psyched to open this guy up. So let's open him up and let's see what's going on here. I got this one at AmiAmi.com. I think there's still some more left. He's not super wanted because... Zeno Gears is, has never been remade or has been on the new system, so we don't. There isn't much of an appeal except for the old school fans like myself. So we're gonna open him up. We're gonna open him up. We're gonna go over paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories, the standard stuff that comes with any action figure that I unbox. And I'm really excited about this one because I just wanted to see how he is because he looks really cool when I saw the promo pictures. So let's look close here and let's see what's going on here. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This looks really cool. Uh, first thing I just wanted to get out of the way, I honestly thought he would come die cast, but I'm feeling around here and I'm not feeling any cold spots. So he's not made out of like die cast metal or any type of metal, which is so unfortunate because... I was hoping he would be, kind of like a uh, metal Gundam, but unfortunately he is just your standard high quality plastic that comes with most bring art. So let's look at the other details. We got red, we got blue, we got purple, we got all kinds of colors here, which is very accurate to the game. Um, I'm really liking the way this looks. I did notice something just out of the blue when it comes to this figure, like what is going on with this, right? What is that? <laughs> like, It looks like something broke off there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Cause I guess we'll find out when we put everything on him. But so far, all the colors and everything, I love this matte finish. I love everything going on here. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Zeno Gears, so I'm, I'm gonna like it. <laughs> but the quality control, let's find out more. I guess at the end of the video, when I played with this thing and looked at it overall, I, I guess I can come up with a final conclusion when it comes to the quality control. Cause I know some Bring Arts just don't have it when it comes to quality control. So far, this looks pretty good. I can't really find any paint defects or anything like that, unlike my uh, Fei Feng Wong here, who had major paint defects on the back and all over the place. Just kind of something I don't expect for a figure that cost me 70 bucks. This guy costs it around 80 bucks, and wow, that's really expensive. You really have to be a big fan of Xenogears to want this figure which i am which is why i have it so we'll go over all the accessories later but let's go over articulation and scale of this so figure. let's see how tall he's standing let's take out our trusty ruler he's standing at about six and a quarter inches and of course we got to compare it with his counterpart honestly this is not accurate at all weight way tall well tall should be much bigger because he's a gear in the game um well, I guess you can't really 112 scale it because then he would be like, what, an 18 inch figure or something like that? He's huge in the game. So we just have a smaller version. So we can just put these two to side to side like that. Uh, let's see how they scale. So yeah, Whale Tall is taller, but like I said, in the game, he's ginormous in comparison to Fei Fong Wang. So that's kind of unfortunate that we couldn't at least get a couple more inches on him just to show how big he really is. So there he is with Fei Fong Wang. And we have Ellie here. Sure, let's put these two together so you can have them look like that. And we have other Bring Arts. We have Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3. Let me put this correctly. <laughs> and we have a Marvel Legends Captain America. So as you can see, he is, they are about the same size. And an SH Figure Arts Ultimate Gohan. So if you're looking to match him with other uh, figures from different brands, he does fit really well, but of course, like I said before, his scale should be much bigger 
because he's a giant mech. Well, anyway, let's move on to our uh, articulation. We have a ball joint there at the ankle there, no toe joint. We have a double jointed knee, which is really tight. Wow, look at that. That's pretty tight right there. We got a ball joint there at the upper leg. We do have a um, twist here at the midsection, and we do have one on the top as well, which is really tight. This figure is really tight. Oh, wow, I really have to loosen him up. Okay, so I'm loosening him up, and there you go. He's starting to get much easier to pose. Got a ball joint there at the uh, at the shoulder there, and we, then we have bicep swivel, which is always welcome. We have double, single jointed, sorry, single jointed elbow there, ball joint there at the wrist, and we get two at the neck looking to be above 20 points of articulation. And when we put all his wings and all that cool stuff in the back, you're going to add a lot more articulation to him. So now let's segue... Oh, as you can see, this kind of fell off. Looks like this is something I might have to super glue on. Uh, let's see. Everyone, please stand by. Okay, that was a pretty easy fix. Let's move on to accessories. Let's get all these cool wings and uh, fins and stuff like that on him because that's really what makes this figure really cool. As you can see from the back of the box there. You get all, that's his full, uh, fully assembled right there. And we're gonna do the same here. So let's get him assembled. If I remember how to assemble him, <laughs> it's been a long time, so I believe... Okay, so, yeah. I think it's something like this. And then, something like this. If I remember how he looks, uh, I believe this part goes down. Yeah, so that part does go down. And this part goes like that. Okay. Okay, now that we have that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is something that, uh, that is a surprise to me. Did you guys hear that? That is die-cast metal. Wow, so you do get metal parts for them. I was just kind of hoping he was all metal. So we just have to remove the feet. Well, this is pretty neat. I like that. They give you metal feet. Uh, I don't think it was necessary to give us plastic ones, but whatever. I'll, I'll take what I can get. Um, uh, let's see. So this should be correct. Yeah. So it should be. I don't think it really matters. So the metal feet make it so he can stand better because the plastic for his fins, uh, his fins and wings are kind of heavy, and they kind of make him unbalanced. So with the metal feet, now we have a more balanced well tile here, and he's looking absolutely amazing. Let's look closer here. Wow, look at that. That looks really cool. Again, I really wish he was bigger, but nonetheless, he looks really solid with all these uh, accessories added onto him. And they're all ball jointed, so they can move, but they can't really move much. It's not like they really moved in the game anyway. So, yeah, so again, these are metal feet that you do get with them, which is really nice, and then you can replace it from the plastic ones. Of course, we have other hands right there. Just a bunch of extra hands there. So you can pose him in all kinds of poses. And we get a stand, which we will do at the very end of this video. So as I'm playing with him, I'm just going to come up with a conclusion. Is he worth the money? Oh boy. So this is really hard for me to say. I like this figure just because it's Welltall from Xenogears. I've been waiting, what, almost 15, 20 years for something like this to come out. This is worth the wait for me. Now, have you ever played Xenogears? Yeah, did you enjoy the game? Yeah, then this is definitely worth it. Now, if you played Zeno Gears and you didn't finish it, and you're like, yeah, I was okay, no, I don't think this is worth the money for you. Um, because of the fact that, wow, he's just all kinds of metal parts. Uh, the fact that he's really expensive, and it's really hard for me to recommend this to someone who isn't a Zeno Gears fan. Because that's a pretty hefty cost to put on an action figure. So that is my take on it. If you are a fan of Xenogears, then by all means, wow, I just absolutely love this figure. I've been waiting so long. You guys have no idea how, how fanboying I am right now after seeing this. Um, yeah, like I said, sorry. If He's worth it if you're a fan. That's all I can really say. If you're not a fan, then by all means, you could skip this one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking for official action figures, don't forget to visit www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
hey you thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe where right here not there right here you and thanks for watching so rate comment and subscribe right here right there right here yeah